Hey guys, welcome back to Bambi TV. Guys, we're going to be reacting to most amazing reply to Christians. Most watch, guys. I think this shouldn't be a hate to Christians, but let's get straight into this. You don't have to read it to me. I know your whole Bible upside down. He is one of the mightiest messengers of God, we believe. Jesus. We believe in his miraculous birth, which many modern day Christians, including the bishops of the Anglican Church, they don't believe today, but we believe that Jesus Christ was born without a human father. Miracle of God's creation. We believe. We believe that he was the Messiah, the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe he gave life back to the dead, by Allah's permission. And he healed those born blind and the lepers by Allah's permission. Can't you see? This is our attitude towards this mighty messenger of God. And this mighty messenger of God, Jesus Christ, New Testament, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, 17 times. You can remember that now. 17 times. And in the next 24 books of the New Testament, once. Total, 18. Word Mary occurs in the New Testament 18 times. In this Quran of mine, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned a hundred percent more times than in your Bible. Can you believe it? Is it believable? Mary, the mother of Jesus, is mentioned in my book one hundred percent more times than in your book. And you think that we are the enemies. Actually, 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 32. Actually, 32. It's almost 18 times 2 is 36, this is 32. It's near enough. I said 100% more times. It's a, like a figure of speech, but 32 times as against 18. This is the relationship. She, and, and, and there is a chapter, chapter in the Quran, in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. The name of the chapter is Surah Maryam, meaning chapter Mary. In your Bible, of the Roman Catholic 73 books, Mary is not one of them. In your Protestant Bible, 66 books, Mary is not one of them. You have Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Peter, Paul. Mary is not one of them. Admit it is not there. In my book, it is enshrined Surah Maryam with the greatest respect in honor of the name of the mother of Jesus Christ. There's a chapter in the Quran. And you consider us to be the enemies. No, no, no. Are we trying to be funny? No, no, no. Read to you. The last expression I said was, Bal Rafahullahu ilayh. But Allah took him up to himself. We Muslims believe that God Almighty took him up, saved him from that ignoble death and nakedness of the cross because the people on the cross were absolutely naked. They didn't respect you to put a little loincloth around the man. The messenger of God, you say the son of God, naked and bare before the world, you know, flies buzzing around him. No, no, no. God Almighty didn't allow that to happen to his servant, his messenger, Jesus. God saved him and took him up. And I say, he's coming back. To just you. He is coming back. To do what? You know, we Muslims, we believe and we claim that Islam is the culmination, the fulfillment of all of God's revelation to man. All true guidance, all guidance is given to us. We don't have to learn anything new from Jesus or Moses or Muhammad anymore. Whatever God wanted to give, he's given it to us. So what is Jesus coming to do? I says, no, he's coming along to rectify you. And he's telling you in the Gospel of St. Matthew, he says, many will say to me on that day, in his second coming, on his return, and many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name do many mighty works? They're going to ask Jesus, didn't we do all these things? We build hospitals, you know, orphanages, and we look after, after the aborigines, and we look after the Maoris, uh -huh, and we look after the Indians. Oh, yes, yes, all these things you did. Huh? We educated all these fools, you know, we civilized them, we cultured them, yes, 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 we did all the things. 
So did we not prophesy in thy name and in thy name cast out devils and in thy name do many mighty works? What does Jesus say to that? He said, I never knew you. Depart from me, foot sack, get away, you rubbish, get away. He said, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. You are evil doers, you are evil mongers. Amazing. You who are working in the name of Christ, looking after the lepers, looking after orphans, Mother Teresa, wonderful work she's doing. By God, I tell you, you know, I, I bow my head down out of respect for her. All the wonderful things you people are doing, the way you look after the animals, you know, animal conservation to preserve life. Whew, fantastic things you are doing, but for human beings as well. What what you are doing, and that's what you're going to say to Jesus. Didn't we do all these things for you in your name? And he's going to tell you, foot sack. Foot sack. I don't know if this is Afrikaans word. It means get away. Get away, you rubbish. Like you say to a shush, shush, shush. He's going to do that to you. Why would he do that to you? When you did all these things for Jesus. Come, come. I am asking the Christians, he's not going to tell the Jews foot sack. He's going to tell the, not going to tell the Muslims foot sack. He's going to tell the Hindus foot sack. He's going to tell you. Why would he tell you foot sack? Get away, you rubbish. I don't know you. I'm asking the Christians. Answer me. You know why? You know why? Because you call him Lord. He is not your Lord. He is not your God. That's a reason. Okay. I can come in. But I say one thing that I know for a fact that I don't... I would say for a fact though, but I can say that I believe Christians are not after Muslims and we don't feel... We don't hate them. Nah. Nah, 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 nah. That is, that is a cons... Like... Okay. Maybe I would say some Christians think that Muslims are taking people to the wrong path, but... Because they don't understand the religion and because of lack of knowledge. And I feel some Muslims still have that same lack of knowledge and think that Christians are taking people to the wrong path, that we are worshipping idols. Okay, that aside. I feel that misconception is between lack of knowledge. That's why some Muslims or Christians think like that. But let's come back to the last part. He said, Jesus said, he's going to tell us, get away, you know me not. Yes, that is going to be ha that is going to happen. Because Jesus said, you walk us of iniquity. If one will Google the meaning of iniquity, it does not mean because you call Jesus Lord. It means that there are a lot of people I know today that claim that God is their one and only. They worship the pretty God, but they still fornicate and they still they lie. Those kinds of things. So even if you're a Christian and you still do those kinds of things, it does not guarantee you heaven. And that's what I think that message was talking about. Because it does not... It said you walk out of iniquity. And if one will follow the verse the way it is, it means that you claim to know me, but you didn't obey my commandment. You didn't obey the Ten Commandments given to you by my Father. Like, you went out in your way to do things that pleased you on earth, not doing things that will please my Father in heaven. I don't know if you understand where I'm coming from, but that is what I think that verse is about. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys. I'm, I'm open to your comments in the comment section. Guys, please do like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Peace.